Hello, my name is Trina. I'm a medical chemist with got a little I can't talk. Let's try that again. Hello, my name is Trina. I'm a medical cannabis patient. I partake of cannabis on a regular basis for PTSD, arthritis in both my knees and ankles, social anxiety, and a few other conditions you can learn more about through watching the previous shows on this channel. This is a Productive Cannabis Connoisseur, a channel dedicated to medical cannabis patients and adults 18 and over. So today I'm going to do Cannabis and Movies, uh, which is a show I do occasionally on Mondays, where I review a movie that just so happens to have cannabis in it, and I'd like to expose what Holly Weird is doing, uh, prevent, for, you know, making these movies for us to watch, us cannabis connoisseurs who really know what cannabis is all about. What are they trying to do? Just create more stereotypes? <laughs> so today's uh, movie I want to talk about... Um, I actually want to talk about two movies. Two movies that I really liked when I was a teenager. Pretty in Pink, which came out in 1986, and um, The Breakfast Club, which I can't remember exact date. I didn't look it up on IMDb, but it came out in the 80s also. Um, I really liked Molly Ringwald as an actress. I liked... Um, Andrew McCartney, and these are all the actors that are in Pretty in Pink. Um, John Cryer, which you guys probably know him from uh, this that popular show, uh, what was that, Three Men or something, I don't know what it was, it was some just disgusting TV show in my opinion. <laughs> and then Harry Dean Stanton, James Spader, and Andrew McCarthy. So they did actually have a uh, cannabis smoking scene in, in Pretty in Pink, not too many people know that. Most people know uh, of the smoke session in um, in the Breakfast Club, which was so obvious because it was a main it was a main part of it. So I've got some trim rolled up, and it's a Girl Scout cookie, and uh, Girl Scout cookies a hybrid, and you can learn more about it through watching my other videos on this channel. Cheers. So I'm going to talk to you about why I liked Pretty in Pink so much. When I was younger, I liked, I was very creative as an artist, okay? I am still now, though, obviously. I was an artist, and I really liked to express myself with the clothing that I wore. The main character, um, I think her name was Andy, or they named her Andy or something like that, who was played by Molly Ringwald. She did that. She had her own sewing machine. She sewed her own clothes. Um, so she was poor. Poor, uh, li poor teen, you know, working at a record shop, <clears throat> and I could just kind of, I just really, really could relate to that because her style was similar to what I liked. The fact that she was making her own clothing and uh, buying things from thrift stores, you know, just anything to get by. I can relate to this that struggle, and then her battle with going to this high school, um, and there's all these. Um, wealthy wealthy teens there and then there's the teens that aren't so wealthy that they stay off to another side you know it's just uh that separation i totally could feel you know because i was going through that same kind of thing back then in my teenage years so i totally relate to it uh john hughes is the guy that wrote this he died in 2009 and just found out um but yeah and the soundtrack i thought was really good um but, you know, it's funny, it's when I watched it, I really didn't key into it the first time, back in the 80s, <laughs> that one of the guy, the actor, James Spader, who's Andrew McCartney's best friend in the movie, he's rolling a joint while he's talking to him. <laughs> Watch that movie, rent it, or, uh, you know, just buy it. I have, I have a copy of it, I bought it, and um, I watched it last year, and I was like, wow, look at that, look at that in there. <laughs> The guy's in the back rolling a joint. But it's funny because the guy that was rolling a joint was a total asshole. He wasn't a nice guy. So equating a, a cannabis with this kind of person, it doesn't really matter who you are. Uh, and supposedly they said there's cocaine usage in it, which I don't remember. I looked it on, on IMDb, so. They have a habit of doing that with these movies. They have a habit of mixing other harder drugs with um, with cannabis when cannabis is a lot more benign than cocaine 
or any other of those uh, street drugs, say like meth and all that kind of stuff. How do I know this stuff's stronger? Not because I've tried meth or I've tried cocaine. I knew people that did uh, partake in these, uh, these drugs. I dated somebody who was uh, addicted to, uh, to meth, so I didn't take it directly, but I was around someone like that, so, and I'm really sensitive, so I picked up on what was going on with that person, and it just was like, wow, that's, it's pretty sad what happens, you know, when someone gets addicted to a drug that's that, um, it's that fatal. But anyway, back to the <laughs> to the movie uh, review here. Quick one, because my my camera's gonna be out of battery soon. But yeah, overall, I liked Pretty in Pink. It was I was really inspired by it. It made me want to continue to like you know do my my drawings, my fashion design drawings that I like to do, be creative and all that kind of stuff. That's how it made me feel when I was a teenager watching it. And the the cannabis thing in the background, I didn't even really recognize it till I watch the movie another time later on, you know? It was funny. So The Breakfast Club, I really loved that movie, but not as much as uh, Pretty in Pink. The Breakfast Club was pretty cool. It showed the division between the nerd, the jock, the uh, uptight, I guess, prissy, like, um, teen, um, and then the, the outcast, gothy-looking teen played by Ali Sheedy. Um, <clears throat> I liked it, but it was, to me, it was a little too cheesy. And then the smoke session, I didn't really get it because when I was younger, I didn't smoke cannabis. So I didn't know. I didn't know why they were acting goofy after they're smoking the cigarette. So, <laughs> yeah, I guess they call me a late bloomer because I didn't do, uh, I didn't smoke cannabis in high school. Uh, I didn't do any of the psychedelics and anything like that. So <laughs> I couldn't really relate to what they were doing, but I thought it was an overall pretty good movie. It kind of makes me want to watch it again, just because I think I'd probably have a different perspective probably of it. I don't know. But yeah, it was an enjoyable movie, and I like uh, reviewing movies that are enjoyable. <laughs> um... I think it accurately, both movies accurately uh, portrayed high school life for me back then. So I think John Hughes really, he just hit on that. So in the movie, in both of, in the music, I mean, in both the movies was pretty awesome. I li I liked it though. So may not be for everyone, but I like both of those movies. So check them out if you never checked them out. And check them out if you didn't notice the cannabis smoking in there, the cannabis rolling of joint in background. And <laughs> it was pretty cool. All right, guys, that's the end of the review today. Two reviews in one. There's <laughs> <coughs> a hot box this uh, bathroom here. <coughs> <coughs> Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking and sharing my videos with your friends and family. Thank you for your kind comments and leave uh, down in the comment section below a movie you'd like for me to review that has cannabis within it and I'll check it out. Keep in mind that I only have Netflix and Hulu right now. I don't have cable and I have um, YouTube, of course. <laughs> Everybody has YouTube. Alright guys, you guys have a great day get out in nature. I'm not out in there right now because it's kind of noisy out there, but I will be. So take care of yourself and I'll see you soon. Peace.